The 8800 digital radio test set combines the accuracy of a 2 MHz to 1 GHz bench test instrument with the portability of a field test instrument. The combination of accuracy, extensive I.O., and easily portable weight housed in a rugged case capable of withstanding 30G shock make the 8800 a true hybrid of field and benchtop testing capability. With the internal battery installed, the 8800 weighs 17 pounds. The rechargeable lithium-ion battery will power the 8800 for a minimum of two and a half hours continuous operation. The specialized battery compartment allows quick and easy replacement of the battery to extend operation time in the field. To maximize operational flexibility, the 8800 can be powered from a wide range of DC voltages, from 11 volts to 24 volts. For example, the 8800 can easily be powered from a car battery while in the field. In the shop, the 8800 is powered by the included external power supply. During the design phase of the 8800, careful attention was given to features that provide outstanding performance in the field and in the shop. Rugged, high-accuracy end connectors are used for all RF input-output connectors. The TR port can handle continuous power up through 50 watts without having to resort to a power-on, power-off duty cycle while maintaining a power meter accuracy of 6% typical across the 2 MHz to 1 GHz range. The inline power meter provides simultaneous readings of forward power, reverse power, and visoir. Its functions include average, peak, burst, crest, and CCDF power. The inline power meter is capable of measuring signal power up to 500 watts over a range of 25 MHz to 1 GHz to an accuracy of 4%. In other words, this portable unit is capable of measuring signals ranging from 500 watts down to minus 140 dBm. The audio input, audio output, and scope input connectors are all BNC type connectors, providing a standard interface to the radio and other audio equipment. Built into the 8800 is an integral DMM capable of measuring voltage, resistance, and current. This feature, which is rarely included in portable radio test sets, gives the 8800 the ability to measure PA bias, which is a current measurement. This measurement is essential for the automated testing of mobile radios. Careful consideration was given to the radio test environment when designing the feature set of the 8800. For example, the 8800 speaker was designed to provide plenty of volume so that test signals can easily be heard in a noisy test environment. A headphone jack is provided so that the operator has the option of listening to signals using a headset. The microphone jack provides an audio input for voice modulation. The 8800 is equipped with a 12-inch color resistive touch display and numerous options for controlling the set. For example, a USB connector is supplied on the front of the set. Two more USB connectors are supplied on the rear of the set. The idea of this configuration is that the rear USB connectors can be used for a keyboard and mouse for bench top operation leaving the front USB connector available for interfacing with a radio during an automated test. Of course, any of these USB connectors can be used for any task, ranging from copying test setups or screenshots from the 8800 to using a connector for a software update. An Ethernet port is supplied so that the unit can be remotely controlled through TCP IP, Telnet, or from the desktop during a VNC session. The home button provides quick access to functions such as speaker volume, squelch, backlight, and show or hide menu functions. The cursor keys supply an additional method to accessing and incrementing values. For example, the cursor key can be used as a method to increment the RF level during a receiver sensitivity test. A large display was selected for the 8800 for two reasons. First, we wanted a display with font sizes large enough to be viewed from across the room. And second, we wanted to increase test efficiency by allowing the user to be able to put all of the meters and plots for a common test on the screen at the same time. 
This capability eliminates the requirement of having to dive through menus or remove meters to make room for others during a test. The test functions are selected from a drop-down menu. When an item is selected from the drop-down menu, it is displayed on the screen. Here, the generator and receiver tiles have been selected and are displayed on the screen. Each tile can be minimized or maximized for display. The generator and receiver are sized so that both can easily be displayed for duplex test operations. The tiles can be positioned anywhere on the screen simply by touching and dragging them. To aid in setting up a layout, the tiles are sized so that their placement can be efficiently organized. The soft grid will allow a tile to gently snap into alignment when dragged near another tile or the border of the screen. The generator modulation tile has been placed on the screen. Now in one screen, the user has control over the receiver, generator, and generator modulation functions. The generator modulation tile is configured so that the modulation type can easily be switched between analog and digital functions without having to dive back into the menus. analog and digital DMOD tiles provide comprehensive displays of all test parameters. For example, the analog DMOD tile displays simultaneous modulation, sign add, AF counter, RF error, distortion, audio level, RSSI, and power readings. Of course, there are times when a bar graph or a larger display are desired for specific measurements. Using the meters drop-down menu, the meters can be selected for individual display. Here the individual modulation meter is displayed in the larger font along with a bar graph. The individual meter can now be sized larger or smaller depending on the need. The 8800 can store the setup for recall at a future time. An alternate, more efficient method of storing the setup is the preset function. A preset stores the tile selection and layout of a test screen and can be recalled more quickly than a stored setup. This current setup will replace preset 10 with the name My Preset then it will be recalled.
The test setup has been stored as a preset and was just recalled from a blank screen. Now the digital preset will be recalled. The digital pause tile is optimized to provide maximum flexibility for quick, efficient use. The cycle button allows the operator to select different digital plots without having to go back through the menus. Another feature that allows a single screen to contain multiple functions is the fast stack button. It works like this. You can stack tiles one upon another. Any number of tiles can be placed into a stack. Pressing the Fast Stack button brings the next tile underneath the current tile to the top of the stack. This allows multiple tiles to occupy the same space, and each can be accessed with a press of the Fast Stack button. Here, the Power Profile display was brought from underneath the Plot display by pressing the Fast Stack button. The Frequency Select tile increases flexibility by allowing the operator to use frequency lists to scroll through the preset generator frequencies, receive frequencies, and generator levels. Scrolling through the entries of the frequency list automatically configures the frequencies and level. The frequency lists can be created and stored on the 8800, or they can be created by a spreadsheet and transferred to the 8800. The 8800 performs digital voice quality tests by allowing the operator to record the audio data from the radio. The audio data is then played back to the radio to test voice quality. In this way, the operator does not have to rely upon the test set having the particular vocoder the radio uses. Recorded audio can be stored and used at a later time. Because the modulation type can easily be switched on the modulation tile, one digital preset can be used for a range of digital radio types. Visual limits can be applied to instantly indicate if a particular measurement is within tolerance. If automated testing is the requirement, the 8800 auto test function will automatically test and align an ever-growing number of radios. In addition to radio test applications, the 8800 has a full complement of instrumentation, including an oscilloscope, channel and broadband spectrum analyzers, tracking generator, distance default, return loss, and SWR functions.
This complement of features makes the 8800 an extremely powerful instrument, both in the field and in the shop.